Hey guys, Justin here, and welcome to our seventh math major example video following our course on number theory. Today's video is going to be following the topics covered in the 12th and 13th uh, course videos on the topic. So if you haven't seen those, make sure to click on the card I have linked right here, which will have the playlist with all of our course videos on it. Additionally, I'd like to announce that we have made a $1,000 per month Patreon goal for this channel, so that if we reach $1,000 per month pledged on the Patreon, we will actually take all ads off of this channel. So if you're interested in pledging money towards that cause, click the link for the Patreon that we have linked down below in the description. And with that out of the way, let's get into the video. So our first two problems for this video are going to be solving systems of congruences using the Chinese remainder theorem. So for this first system, we have x congruent to 5 mod 7, x congruent to 7 mod 11, and x congruent to 3 mod 13. Now, if you remember from our video on this, we need to calculate our n's. So our big n is calculated by multiplying all of these things that we are taking mods. So we have 7 times 11 times 13, so our big n is equal to 1001. Our n1 is the n for our first equation, so we will get it by multiplying 11 times 13. Our n2 is 91, as that is 7 times 13, and our n3 is 77, which is 7 times 11. From here, we need to derive our x1, and x1 is congruent to n1 inverse mod small n1, and small n1 is just what we are taking mod in the first equation. So we will have x sub 1 is congruent to 143 inverse mod 7. And 143 inverse mod 7 is 5. So we have that x sub 1 is congruent to 5 mod 7. Uh, for x sub 2, we're going to use the same process. We need big N sub 2 inverse mod little n sub 2. And we will find that 91 inverse mod 11 is 4. So we have x sub 2 is 4 mod 11. And lastly, for our x sub 3, we will have big N sub 3 inverse mod little n sub 3, which is 77 inverse mod 13, and 77 inverse mod 13 is in fact 12. So we have that as our value for x3. And now all we need to do is plug all these values into our equation for CRT, which is x is equal to a sub 1 times big N sub 1 times x sub 1 plus a sub 2 times big N sub 2 times x sub 2 plus a sub 3 times big N sub 3 times x sub 3. And plugging in all those values, we will have this the following equation. We will have 5 times 143 times 5 plus 7 times 91 times 4 plus 3 times 77 times 12. And we will reduce that all mod big N, and our big N is 1001. And when we, when we multiply and add all those out and reduce mod 1001, we will have that x is congruent to 887 mod 1001, and that is our final answer. For part two, we can't immediately go into our derivation for the Chinese remainder theorem as we have coefficients on all of these x's. So first we have to get rid of these coefficients, and we're going to do that by plugging it into Wolfram alpha, um, which I will show you here. So for the first one, we're going to want to first calculate the inverse of 7 mod 39, and plugging that in, we get 28. So we have to apply that to both sides of the equation. If we multiply it on the left, we will get 1x. And to see what we'll get when we multiply it on the right side, we will multiply 12 times 28 and then reduce mod 39. And plugging that into Wolfram Alpha, we can see that is 24. So we can rewrite our congruence as x congruent to 24 mod 39. For the second one, we are going to calculate the inverse of 2 mod 35. And we will find that that is equal to 18. So we're going to multiply 7 by 18 and then reduce mod 35, and we will find that that is equal to 21. So we will rewrite our second congruence as x congruent to 21 mod 35. And lastly, we will find out the inverse of 21 mod 22, and that is going to be, of course, equal to 21. So we will multiply 15 times 21 and reduce mod 22 to get 7 and get our third and final equation. x is congruent to 7 mod 22. From here, the solution process is going to be exactly the same as we had in the first problem. We're going to calculate all of our big N. We're going to have big N is equal to 30,030, um, and big N1 is 770, big N2 is 858, and big N3 is 1395. Then we're going to, of course, use these to calculate our x sub 1, x sub 2, and x sub 3. So plugging those into the equation, x sub 1 is equal to uh, big N sub 1 inverse mod little n sub 1. We will need to calculate 770 inverse mod 39, and that is going to be 35, so our x sub 1 is equal to 35. Uh, for x sub 2, we will need to calculate 858 inverse mod 35, which is congruent to 2, so we will have x sub 2 is equal to 2. 
And lastly, for X sub 3, we will have 1395 inverse mod 22, which will give us uh, X sub 3 is equal to 5. Then we can plug those into the equation we used for CRT earlier to find the value for X and then reduce mod 30,030. And when you multiply all that out and reduce mod 30,030, you will find that that X is 10,941 mod 30,030. And that finishes this problem off. Uh, these next two problems are going to be word problems, which are just simply systems of congruences uh, that you can solve using the method I've already gone over. I'm not actually going to do them all the way out, but I will set them up for you. So we have, for the first problem we have, when eggs in a basket are removed two, three, four, five, or six at a time, there remain respectively one, two, three, four, or five eggs. When they are taken out seven at a time, none are left over. We want to find the smallest number of eggs that could have been contained in the basket. Now that's going to be done solving a system of congruences like I said, so let me set this up for you. So when uh, eggs are removed two at a time, there is one remaining, so that means x is congruent to one mod two. By the same logic, we can set up all these other equations. We'll have x is congruent to two mod three, x is congruent to three mod four, congruent to four mod five, five mod six, and zero mod seven. And like I said, I'm going to leave that for you guys to do for homework. Feel free to post in the comments what you got and how you got there. Now I'm going to do the same thing for this second word problem. We have uh, thieves that have stolen rice. And we're going to be able to set up three linear congruences from this problem. And I'm not going to read the whole thing, but the three equations we're going to be able to set up are x is congruent to 1 mod 19, 4 mod 17, and 1 mod 12. And you can solve that one as well for homework and post in the comments what you got. For our last problem, we're going to want to determine the last two digits of 11, 12, and 15 to the 1,000th power. Now, for 11 to the 1,000th, we can use uh, Euler's as 1,000 and 11 are relatively prime. We want to reduce... 11 to the 1000 mod 100 to get the last two digits. So what is phi of 100? Well, that is going to be equal to 100 times 1 half times 4 fifths, and that is equal to 40. Um, and we know that 1000 is congruent to 0 mod 40. And that means, of course, that 11 to the 1000th must be congruent to 1 mod 100, which very quickly finishes that one off. Now, unfortunately, we can't use Euler's formula for 12 to the 1000th, so we're going to try and find a loop to make this problem easier. So what we're going to do is take powers of 12 and then reduce them mod 100. Like I said, try to figure out a loop. So I'm not going to read all these out, but very quickly I'm going to write out uh, the loop for you. So 12 to the first power is 12, and we can loop that all the way around to see that the last two digits of 12 to the 20th are 76. Now, that's all we need to solve this problem. As 12 to the 1,000th, it will be the 50th 20th power which means it will hit on that 76 in the loop for the 50th time when we get to 12 to the 1,000th. So we of course know that the last two digits of 12 to the 1,000th will be 76. We can't use Euler's for 15 to the 1,000th either as, as 15 and 1,000 are not relatively prime, but we have a very easy pattern that we can identify here. Um, so 15 to the first power is of course equal to 15, but from there on out, uh, all even powers will end in 25 and all odd powers will end in 75. So the first power is 15 and then it will alternate between 25 and 75 all the way up. But 15 to the 1,000th is in even power, which means that the last two digits of 15 to the 1,000 will be 25 and that finishes this problem off and that's a good place to stop.